Today is going to be awesome. You may be asking yourself, why is today, of all days, going to be awesome? That's because I finally got a new mattress. So it was almost like a little bit of a Valentine's Day present to ourselves. Hey, let's splurge a little, spend a little more, and get a pretty nice mattress. Because to me, sleep is sacred. There's nothing like getting into bed and just being super comfortable. But what I really wanted to talk about today is something that I've really been thinking a lot about lately. I love watching other YouTubers. I love, there's other photography channels, vlog channels. I'm just a fan of, of good YouTube content. There's one thing that I've noticed. Uh, it's, it's about being original, how to be original. How can we be original when there's just this saturation of people kind of doing the similar and same thing, vlogging or doing photography or whatever it is. How can you be original and kind of find your voice on YouTube and in vlogs and video creating? Because it's inevitable, people are going to dabble and sample in the trends and what's hot and what works and what looks great. But where is the line of sampling and kind of borrowing from others versus just completely ripping people off? Look at the way my dog is sleeping. Connor, what are you doing? Why are you sleeping this way? It's here. Our new mattress is here. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> Watch out, Connor. This is a lot harder than it looks. It's so comfortable. Now I gotta clean all this mess up. So if you'll excuse the mess behind me, I'll be uh, setting up to bed later. But you know, some people say that that YouTubers rip each other off or you know copycat. How can you be original when there's so much content out there and everybody's doing basically everything? It's all been done before. How do you how do you create your own voice in all of that? In my opinion, it's it's okay to sample from other people because it's just an inspiration. Some YouTubers I've watched and that I really love really inspire me to create moods and scenes and, and visions and, and the aesthetics and video. I admire their work and I would love for my work to be as good as theirs, but I don't want to be those people. Now, when I started YouTube, oh man, I copycatted hard because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I would create vlogs, just like Casey Neistat, pretty much the godfather of vlogging and video creating. After I did a few of them, I was like, oh my god, like I'm ripping this dude off. I'm doing everything he does. I need to I need to create my own way of doing things. It's really hard to do. Even today, uh, I'll I'll be creating videos and sometimes I stop myself and go, oh my god, like that's not original. Like naturally beat myself up anyway. So I've thought a lot about, you know, taking this, the, the things that I love about the YouTubers that I watch and video creators that I watch and learning them and using them for my own work but not literally copycatting their content. Does that make sense? The other thing is that everything has been done before so you're going to inevitably make videos over the same topics as other people. The key is to doing so in your own voice, in your own creative way. Like for example, camera reviews. I'm currently shooting on a Sony a7 III. Everybody's done a video review on, an, on, a, Sony, on a Sony a7 III, but if I were to create a video review of this camera, I would try to do so in my own way. Anyways, that's just kind of like a, like a quick example of like how I would do it in my own style. Go lay on my bed and tell me what you think. 
You ready? Are you excited? Yes. Here it goes. See what Carlos thinks. Carlos. <laughs> ah, somebody has a thumbies. Oh, this is feel? better though already. Is it nice? Yes. Oh, <laughs> what do you think, Carlos? getting really cold. I think me and my wife are gonna go eat dinner. She likes the bed. So I think at the end of the day, we're always gonna borrow and sample from other people and keep up with trends and things like that. But it's important to try to do so in your own way, in your own style, and to really find your own voice. Don't just flat out copy what they do. There's always gonna be those people that are literally rip-offs of other people and just copy every single thing that they do. And it's a fine line, it really is. It's it's kind of a gray area, but let me know what you guys think. That's just my opinion on it. I could be totally wrong, and in the comments you could be like, you know, fuck off. But hey, thanks for watching. Just be yourself. Everybody else is already taken.